Hello everyone, welcome to SQ TV. I am your host Rajni Bharara and today on the show I have with me this special doctor once again. His name is Dr. Shava Engineer Lu and he is an ENT surgeon. Today on the show we are going to speak with doctor about nose and all the issues related with nose. But before like uh, it's our ritual we would like to welcome him to SQ TV Global and we would like to thank him for taking out time and doing the show. Dr Thank you so much for coming to SQ TV Global and again thank you so much for taking out time and doing the show it means a lot Thank you man it is my great pleasure good evening Good evening to you too So now doctor uh, like i've mentioned uh, to the audiences uh, you know when while i was introducing you that today we are going to uh, talk completely about all the issues related with nose and all the problems that is related with nose so uh, before i ask anything to you my very first question to you is um, you know to, the, because the season is changing the weather is changing so these days people are having a lot of issue with uh, cold so they are you know uh, they are very uh, i mean they are getting cold very easily they are catching cold very easily so how does that happen and what is the connection between the weather change and cold if you can please uh, tell this to the audiences yeah usually with the weather change atmosphere changes certain viruses will increase their okay. population wise with the mutations they will change that their genes also with that the pathogenicity will change so most of the times when the weather changes the time this virus will grow and that will attack the persons those who goes in contact with them are near anaesthetic conditions and this especially from warm to cold weather is more prone to the cold infections because mm-hmm. in these situations in the nose also with the cold exposure the turbinates will become increase in size by vasodilatation by increasing mucus secretion when there is increase in mucus secretions that will ha- help to grow that virus so whenever the weather changes mm-hmm. in weather changes this mucus secretions will increase that flux will form in that virus will grow and that will cause the more acute cold attacks but uh, doctor you know when cold or when people go through people catch cold or cough so they don't normally go to doctor and they don't normally uh, directly go to you know to the nearby doctor and uh, go for uh, i mean a proper check up so they actually wait for few days to uh, so that you know the virus can get away i mean can easily get away so uh, for how long should a person wait before um, they should actually go see a doctor if they have caught cold and cough most of the times initially if the person is healthy he don't have any other health issues especially diabetes problem mm-hmm. if we take proper rest and a proper food intake most of the times this cold will come down like if there is till that time or two three days if we take care of it by two three days that attack will come down that intensity of the infection will come down by increasing our resistance basically mm-hmm. we can increase our resistance by adequate sleep proper nutritional food intake and a proper rest don't do more physical you can do little bit walk in warm weather like that but don't do intense physical activity like intense exercise intense anything which increases your stress so taking rest along with the proper sleep along with the proper food and along with that if you take a proper steam inhalation that will dislodge your mucus plugs you know whatever the plux is there in the nose it will get dislodged so usually mucus plugs are the site where the virus will grow so these four precautions will help these four if you take at a early stage when you think you are getting your body becomes warm uh, initial signs of cold like sneezing little bit water discharge coming if you take all these precautions all these instructions if you follow all these things most of the times this cold will come down by two to three days if after two three days also your pains increase if you have persistent fever if you have persistent nose block and if you have persistent headache and facial pains along with that if there is yellow or green secretions you need to contact doctor and you have to get a proper medical treatment till that time for one or two days if you take the rest your body pains will come down your fever will come down your weakness come down then most of the times you don't need to go the doctor only increasing symptoms along with the nasal blockage and nasal secretions is the hint for to uh, check by doctor and to get the treatment by the doctor 